Have you ever pondered the intricate safety measures that laboratories take to prevent mishaps? Welcome to the world of biosafety, a realm where science meets safety to prevent the unthinkable. Biosafety is a critical aspect of laboratory work, especially when handling potentially dangerous pathogens. It's a system designed to protect us and, more importantly, to protect the world from the potential consequences of laboratory mishaps. Imagine this, yeah, you're in a lab handling a potentially deadly virus. One slip, one break in protocol could lead to an outbreak, even a pandemic. That's where biosafety steps in with stringent standards and protocols to prevent such catastrophes. These standards are not just local, but global, established by international organizations like the World Health Organization and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Their goal, to prevent leaks and lab-acquired infections. To ensure that what happens in the lab stays in the lab, it's a high-stakes game of risk management where the price of failure could be measured in human lives. But it's not just about personal safety, it's about global safety. Biosafety isn't just about personal protection, it's about preventing global catastrophes. In the vast country of India, biosafety has taken a front seat in laboratory operations. This is a nation that understands the critical importance of biosafety and has taken significant steps to ensure that its laboratories adhere to stringent standards. India has established a comprehensive set of biosafety guidelines, creating a framework that categorizes biosafety levels and manages the inherent risks associated with handling pathogens. This system is designed to protect not just the individuals working within these laboratories, but also the broader community and environment from potential hazards. This framework delineates four distinct biosafety levels, each corresponding to a specific combination of laboratory practices, safety equipment and laboratory facilities. The higher the biosafety level, the higher the potential risk, and thus the more stringent the containment measures. In the Indian biosafety landscape, there is one laboratory that operates at biosafety level 4, the highest level. This laboratory is equipped to handle the most dangerous and exotic agents that pose a high individual risk of aerosol transmitted infections. In addition to this, there are several laboratories operating at biosafety level 3. These labs are designed to handle agents that can cause serious or potentially lethal diseases through the inhalation route. However, when compared to its global counterparts, India has a limited number of biosafety level 3 and 4 laboratories. This is not necessarily a reflection of India's commitment to biosafety, but rather an indication of the complexities and challenges associated with establishing and maintaining such high-level biosafety facilities. Despite these challenges, India has not shied away from its commitment to biosafety, its implementation of stringent guidelines and its ongoing efforts to enhance the safety and security of its laboratories are testaments to this commitment. Despite limitations, India's commitment to biosafety is evident in its implementation of stringent guidelines. However, the surface often hides the true depth of the waters. As we delve deeper into the world of biosafety, we uncover the hidden dangers that lurk beneath the surface of laboratory practices. One such peril is the potential underreporting of lab-acquired infections in India. Like a submerged iceberg, the true scale of this issue is difficult to ascertain due to the lack of comprehensive reporting mechanisms. This underreporting could skew the understanding of the actual risks and challenges faced by laboratory personnel, masking the true depth of the problem. The absence of such vital data could potentially undermine the effectiveness of the biosafety measures in place. If lab-acquired infections are not accurately reported and documented, it becomes challenging to identify patterns, learn from incidents and implement preventive measures. Thus, the need for better, more transparent reporting mechanisms becomes evident. In the same vein, another hidden danger within the realm of biosafety is the lack of adequate training, communication and trust among laboratory personnel. These elements are the lifeblood of a safe and efficient laboratory environment. Without comprehensive training, laboratory personnel may not fully comprehend the risks associated with handling pathogens or the correct procedures to follow in case of an accident. Communication, on the other hand, ensures that everyone within the laboratory environment is on the same page, understanding the potential risks and the necessary precautions. Trust, the third pillar, is crucial in fostering a culture of safety and responsibility. 
If personnel trust in the systems in place and in each other, they are more likely to adhere to safety protocols and report incidents promptly and accurately. With greater transparency and vigilance, the safety of laboratory environments can be vastly improved. The hidden dangers, once brought to light, can be addressed and mitigated ensuring the safety and well-being of those who work tirelessly in the world of science. In the pursuit of biosafety, international organizations offer a beacon of guidance. As we navigate the complex waters of biosafety, we find ourselves guided by the wisdom of renowned bodies such as the World Health Organization and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. These institutions provide vital guidelines for risk assessment and biosafety management, illuminating the path towards a safer, more secure world. The WHO in particular has gone to great lengths to ensure that this path is well lit. Their biosafety manual is a comprehensive document that covers a wide range of biosafety aspects. It's a treasure trove of knowledge, offering invaluable insights into everything from risk assessment to lab design and operation. It's a testament to the WHO's commitment to ensuring that biosafety is not just an ideal but a reality. Yet, the pursuit of biosafety is not just about maintaining the safety of our laboratories and the people who work in them. It's also about being responsible stewards of our planet's biological diversity. This is where the Convention on Biological Diversity, or CBD, comes into play. The CBD aims to conserve biological diversity through sustainable practices. It's a noble goal, one that is as important as it is ambitious. By aligning our biosafety practices with the principles of the CBD, we can ensure that our work does not come at the expense of the beautiful diversity that makes our planet so unique. In the end, it's clear that the path to biosafety is not a solitary journey. It's a collective effort, guided by the wisdom of international organizations and fueled by our shared aspiration for a safer, more sustainable world. Through adherence to global standards, we can ensure that our laboratories are not just safe, but also responsible stewards of our planet's biological diversity.